So the search in SharePoint is really good out of the box. Um, I'm in the English Year 11 library. If I, type in, if I type in search this library across the top here, and I type in of mice and men, you'll see it brings back all the documents with the words of mice and men in the title, but it will also look inside those documents as well and return any documents with the words of mice and men in the contents of those resources. There might be times when you need to search for other verticals, other types of search criteria. Maybe it's a particular exam resource and you might want to search by the exam board. So it becomes quite important to tag documents inside SharePoint because as your sites scale up and you get lots of documents, thousands of documents getting added over the next few years, you're going to want to make sure that those these areas are scalable and they're easy to find those resources. So one thing that we do is we add in some optional tagging onto these documents. So you'll see we've got key stage, year and topic and subject here. Some of these tags are, are added automatically. So because this is the English Year 11 library, whenever you drop a document into this library, it will automatically be tagged with key stage four, year 11 and English, because that's where you put it. Um, however, some of the, uh, there's some other optional tags that teachers can use to um, make these documents easier to find. So I can select one of these documents and select the information panel to tag it. And you'll get a little preview of the document and as you scroll down, you can see it's tagged with key stage four, topics algebra. And if I wanted to tag it with a particular topic, all I do is just start typing and you'll see it automatically completes um, with the available tags that are available on this site. So I can tag it with of mice and men, it might be a particular exam board, maybe it's at Excel, and I can just type into here and assign it um, an exam board. Um, you might need to bulk tag these documents, maybe you've got loads of them and you want to tag them really quickly. You can select more than one document, so you can select a group of them and I can give them an exam board. So you know, I can say, right, they're all AQA resources and save that and you'll tag all those documents in one go. So some of the benefits of this is you can search for some of those tags. So I can search for AQA and even if it doesn't contain the word AQA, in the title of the document or in the contents, it will still come back in the search results. If I'm searching across um, a whole school or a whole trust, it'll bring back all those resources that are tagged with that particular uh, metadata. And what you'll also probably find is these areas become a bit messy over time. You might get teachers creating folders and their own folder structures. But if people are tagging their documents, what we do is we create a number of additional views that you can go to this folder view here and I can switch the view so I can group it by any of those tags. So if I want to group it by exam board, this will strip out all the folders from this library and just show me the exam boards grouped together. So it show me all the AQA documents together, all the Excel documents together, etc. Even if they're in folders inside folders inside folders, this completely ignores the folders and it just shows the documents grouped together by exam board. And I can do that for the other tags as well, you know, by topic, etc. And it'll group together all the all the documents by the topic that they're tagged with. So I can see all the reading documents together. So it's just another way to quickly find those documents. And as your users start to use mobile devices and tablets on a more regular basis, they'll rely more on search, especially as your resources grow over time. So tagging documents is really important. It is optional, but definitely recommended um, if you can do that.